Hi, welcome to Bookie. Today we will unlock the book Freud, A Life for Our Time. As you may already know, Sigmund Freud was an Austrian Jewish psychiatrist, psychologist, and the founder of psychoanalysis. His psychoanalytic theories are an inescapable theme of contemporary intellectual life. They influence everyone's outlook and permeate every aspect of our lives. Freud's theory of psychoanalysis has changed the way we perceive ourselves and others. He shook up the world, created myths, and became a myth. Speaking of Freud, people will generally comment that he was a genius. Without his work, we would lack the deepest understanding of ourselves. It is fair to argue that the entirety of human thought in the 20th century had been influenced more or less by Freudian psychoanalysis. In recent years, however, there have been constant debate on Freud's intellectual legacy. On the one hand, supporters see him as a master, a giant, and a cultural hero, a mentor who could guide people to the hidden regions of the mind. On the other side, critics call him a Jew who converted to Roman Catholicism a misled psychologist and a dictator in the field of psychoanalysis, even describing Freud as a plagiarist and a swindling cagliostro. In this bookie, we will unlock a work that sets his biography and achievements in psychoanalysis in their historical context. The book interweaves the historical macrocosm with the microcosm of an individual life. It is written with dynamism and fine attention to detail. Although Freud destroyed large numbers of manuscripts before his death, Gay read through almost everything remaining he could get his hands on, he made this biography all the more precious by integrating this wealth of material into a coherent whole. The New York Times sees this book as a judicious original biography, scrupulously grounded in close readings of Freud's work. The Washington Post believes it is the most comprehensive, complete, and detailed biography of Freud to date. A great author writing about another to produce a masterpiece for our times. Born in Berlin in 1923, the author Peter Gay was a German Jew who spent his youth in Nazi Germany before fleeing with his family to the United States. He died in 2015 at the age of 91. Gay received his PhD from Columbia University and taught at Yale. He wrote more than 25 books, such as The Enlightenment, An Interpretation, and Weimar Culture, The Outsider as Insider. Many of his books won the National Book Award, and he received the American Historical Association's Award for Scholarly Distinction in 2004. Now, we will approach the key contents of this book chronologically. Part 1, Early Development and Studies. Part 2, Advancing His Career. Part 3, Prestige and Later Theoretical Refinements. Sigmund Freud was born a citizen of the Austro-Hungarian Empire in the small Moravian town of Freiburg on May 6, 1856. The Freud family was large, his mother Amalia was twenty years younger than his father Jacob, a Jewish wool merchant. He had five younger sisters and a younger brother, as well as two older half-brothers. Being raised in such a large family, the young Freud was often confused by the subtle complexities of relationships between people, such as siblings competing for maternal affection and his complicated relationship with his parents. In these family relationships, the young Freud had to repress many emotions. His early experiences nurtured the buds of the young Freud's interests in psychology and psychoanalysis. In adulthood, after founding psychoanalysis, he used the method of dream interpretation to continue a self-analysis of his childhood problems. His family was not well off, but the young Freud was favored among his older siblings. He was the only one who had his own room, providing a quiet atmosphere for learning. Books were Freud's luxury. In his room, their number increased. He often stayed there alone, reading, sleeping, and even eating in the room. At school, he was ambitious and confident. For seven years, he was at the top of his class, so his teachers granted him special status and rarely required him to take internal exams. As much as his yearning for fame, Freud's choice of a suitable college and future career was a painful source of frustration and internal conflict. Initially, he wanted to study law, but like Charles Darwin, he desired to travel on a ship as a researcher, engaging with the natural world. Drawn to Darwinism, in 1873, he entered the University of Vienna to study medicine. Freud read widely and devoted his early college years to studying the humanities and philosophy, this would later benefit his psychoanalytic writing. After a long course of medical study, Freud received his bachelor's degree in 1881. In 1882, Freud met Martha Bernays. Slender and 